Welcome to Hearth's own hotel. This is Danny Lowe, and we're glad you're here. Today, let's enjoy the interesting mechanic between Ball of Minions and Greed a Gold Gun. Two amazing minions to implement a fun and potentially very strong strategy based on repeatedly gilding the ball to give as many stats to the board as possible. Please, enjoy your stay. As Toki, when we refresh Bob's tavern, it includes two minions from a tavern tier higher. Our hero power isn't very effective on tier one and two. But once we're on tier 3 and 4, we'll be able to find minions that can define our strategy and scaling. Buying strong tempo cards that don't fit on our board is alright. With Toki, we just need to stay alive. In this particular situation, during the buying phase of turn 3, we like to take advantage of Tad for a double buy, and as luck would have it, we also managed to open up the possibility of making a future triple. Enemies will show no mercy. Now, at turn four, what we want is to go to Tavern Tier 3 and then use our hero power to collect two Tier 4 drops. Partnership has potential. Rendell the Mr. Mind is a serious one for Toki. The end of our turn, Rendell will steal the highest tier minion from Bob's Tavern. The synergize is perfectly with our hero power, so let's take advantage of it in the right way. The best way to take advantage of Rindle the Mr. Mind is to make sure that our turns always end with the use of our hero power, so that Rindle's chosen target is precisely one of the two minions that Toki will make appear in Bob's Tavern. I wouldn't be caught dead! Now, let's take a look at the combat phase of turn 5. Now enter turn six. Another battle behind you. Again, let us remember to end the turn by leaving the two tier five drops for us in Bob's Tavern. Take a deep breath. In this case, there is no need to freeze. We are indifferent to which of the two we receive. Show no mercy. Here we are at turn seven. Leave the door. Let the From now on, thanks to the level up we just made, our hero powered refresh will spawn two level six minions. Let's take advantage of Rindle once again to pick up one of the level six drops. How do I attract all these minions? Before we go to six, Let's see what Toki can offer us by doing a refresh. We think that Uther plus Colossus are a good reason to spend our coins on Tavern Tier 5. Has that one tasted the we then decide to stay at 5. In the meantime, let's see how the combat phase of this turn 8 will develop thanks to our new purchases. Strike fear into their hearts. 
Once again, we use our hero power before leveling up. You have unmasked their incompetence. Greta Gold Gun is perfect for our ball of minions because we can make it golden and then sell it, thus shifting its stats to two more minions instead of just one. Now, strengthened by our 28 health points on turn nine, Let's take advantage of the situation by going to Tavern Tier 6. Remember to get rid of the useless minions before selling the golden ball. Let's make sure we don't waste buffs. Cursed with flesh, you still gain We immediately buy the second ball and look for Uther again. In this way, we can play the same game as before, hoping that this time, to optimize the trick, the buff goes on the second ball of minions on the board. In this case, we are unlucky because the buff did not hit the ball, but this is still a great way to farm stats. We then close the round with Gentle Jenny. Besides being a source of economy, this car could provide us with a ball of minions with which to repeat the strategy we just applied. Let's see how the fight goes. And GG. Gentle Jenny's drop is indeed a fresh ball of minions. Are you on the guest list? As we scroll through the tavern on turn 11, we find a third copy of Ball of Minions. The correct move here is not to triple Ball of Minions right away but rather to use Greed as gem to gild the ball with the highest stats so that we can buy and play the third ball. This will increase the chances that one of the two will be buffed through the sale of the golden one. This would allow us to again have the conditions to be able to do this little game again next turn. Bob offers us another ball and another greed. This turn is hilarious because we can do the trick twice in the same turn. Yes, we have farmed enough stats to be satisfied. 
Now it is time to analyze the situation again to figure out what strategy to continue with. Since the remaining opponents are not composing undead builds, we can definitely take advantage of minions like Manti Queen and Leroy, who are great at this point in the game. So we purchase them and we prepare for the next fight. You should recruit minions. Thanks to Seafood Slinger, we now have a Golden Magma Lock. Now, since we have as many as two Toxfin in hand, we free up three spaces on the board to poison the two Magma Lock, thus greatly increasing our power level. This move takes on even more value when we also consider the fact that the Magma Locks will take decent stats at the end of the turn. Having already fought and defeated Heist Baron Togwoggle, we know he is using Tunnel Blaster. The strongest move we can make here is to sell the smaller Manti and replace it with Selfless Hero, and that's it. A crazy but extremely fun mechanism that allowed us to gain enough traction and statistics to reach a solid position. Let's enjoy the final battle. So thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed your stay, and we look forward to you being our guests again soon. Greetings from Hearthstone Hotel.